Hi, it's April from the Noble Garden, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my plants down. Well, I'm going to do a test run on spraying a few of the leaves down of the mixture that I made. Let me show you what I've done. So I did a teaspoon of the castor soap, a teaspoon of the cold pressed neem oil, and five drops of peppermint in this bottle and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and only spray a few leaves of different plants I'm gonna wait it out 24 hours so this time tomorrow I'm gonna come back out and make sure there was no damage done to the leaves and if not then I can make a gallon of it and spray the whole garden down okay I'm gonna spray this leaf down And then tomorrow, this tomato plant, and I'm going to pick a different tomato plant down here at the bottom. And the reason why you do this, guys, is because you don't know what reaction your plant is going to have to a new mixture. So you do want to pick... There's bugs on that. You do want to pick a leaf to come monitor. So I've got two tomato leaves. I'm going to pick something else. Yeah, I don't want any reaction. If I plant, if I do the whole plant, the whole garden, and it burns all my leaves, then I'm screwed. I'd rather go ahead and do it more tamed like this and know what the damage could possibly be. All right, guys. So I'm going to go around just like this and soak a few leaves of a few plants. And then if it doesn't happen, I'll show you guys what happens tomorrow. And if nothing happens, then I'll do the whole garden. Hey, guys. It's the next day. I went around and I looked at my plants. I see no damage to the leaves. Therefore, I think the spray that I use is going to be all fine. I've waited 24 hours. It's also recommended to wait 48 hours. Um, I've used neem oil in the past. I've used peppermint and such oils in the past. I've never had any issues with it. But if you are trying this for the first time, I do highly recommend doing what I did and spraying a few leaves and seeing what it, can't, what it does or doesn't do. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to do my whole garden. So I'll show you a few of the leaves right quick, show you that there's no damage on them. And then I used one of these gallon sprayers like this. You can get these at Lowe's. I got this from Tractor Supply last year. I know sometimes you can get them at Walmart. But what I did was I mixed a gallon of water with two tablespoons of medium oil, a tablespoon of castile soap, and 15 drops of peppermint. And I put warm water in it. Not hot, but warm. And I'm going to spray it on the top of the leaves and the under the leaves. But let me show you a leaf. So yesterday I sprayed down that leaf and nothing happened and that's kind of how the whole yard is. There's nothing to report. So let's get to spraying this. Alright guys, so what I'm doing is I'm literally spraying down the leaves to where they're dripping. You want to do the underside of the leaves as well. I will avoid the flowers however and I will not put this on the flowers just in case it does affect bees. I don't want to hurt the bees. I am doing this in the later part of the afternoon. The sun is behind my tree so it will not this is oil, guys. You gotta remember that. Neem oil. Peppermint oil. So you don't want to put this on your leaves in the first thing in the morning. You also reapply this every time it rains. So yeah, you just soak down the leaves. Make sure you get your undersides. And that's it. That's all it is. That's why I like these gallon sprays. Now, if you only have a small little spot you want to use, you can use a hand sprayer. That's what I did to test. But you're going to need a much smaller dose. I'm literally going to go through my whole garden and do this to every plant. And I have a big garden, so I won't send you guys down that rabbit hole with me. I'll keep you guys posted on whether or not it worked. I'm mainly doing this for two bugs right now. I mean, I do have the caterpillar worm issue that I need to look at and see if BT helped. So I'll be taking a look at that. But I am going to go ahead and spray this stuff down on that on my cabbages and broccolis and cauliflowers. But other than that, I'm literally spraying the whole, my tomatoes, peppers, like literally everything else with this to see if it takes care of the footed leg. Leg footed. I'm sorry. I... I I always forget the name of those things, but I'm seeing them really bad, and they, they're a big issue. They eat up plants and cause that kind of damage. And then I have seen some aphids, but I'm not going to be spraying my pea plants because I saw uh, ladybugs on there, and just in case this hurts ladybugs, I don't want it to hurt ladybugs. They seem to be taking care of the aphid issue on my 
pea plants, so I'm gonna leave my pea plants completely alone. And I have seen the cucumber beetles. So I most definitely wanna hose this down on my cucumber plants and melon plants. Okay, let's talk about why I use this spray. So neem oil is good. It kills the insects when they ingest it. So for them to get affected by it, they have to bite the leaf. And then that's how they die. So it's a slow process, guys. So if you use the spray, don't think it's gonna work instantly, it won't. The cast oil soap is also one that can kill them, but I mainly used it in this cocktail because the um, neem oil is an oil and it won't mix good in water without something else in it. And that's what the cast all soap does. And then the peppermint, a lot of bugs don't like the smell of peppermint. I noticed when I was spraying throughout the yard, you could see like the white fly that's been leaving them wonderful cute, uh, caterpillars that I've been battling. You saw them flying. I saw the leg foot bug hopping off too when I was spraying. So let's see what this does. The other thing is guys how often you can use it so you can use it weekly like every seven to ten days or you can go every two weeks it depends on your feelings of how you feel about using it and what results you see so for me i'm gonna watch for my results and i'm gonna let my garden tell me when and if it needs it again so thank you guys for watching if you like my videos remember to like comment share and subscribe thank you